You must be Hella. And Thor, son of Odin. Really? You don't look like him. Perhaps we can come to an arrangement. You sound like him. Neil. Beg your pardon. Neil. Before your queen. I don't think so. It's not possible. Darling, you have no idea what's possible. Welcome to Down to Watch, the podcast where we ask the question, are you down to watch? This is a special um, episode. Yeah, I guess a special episode that we call Movie Pass Minutes because we used our Movie Pass to go see this movie. And if you're not familiar with what Movie Pass is, go to MoviePass.com and get yours, where all you have to do is pay 10 bucks a month and you can watch all the movies you want in the movie theater. I am Camila. I am Dan. And today we are going to talk about Thor Ragnarok. I think you said it right. I said it. That's the first time I've ever tried to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, um, you know, so, I was I was a little fuzzy still, even though I sat through that movie. Fuzzy about what? What is Ragnarok the person? Okay, well, hold on. Event? Well, well we'll get like there. Popula- okay. So, Thor Ragnarok, it's in theaters now. And um, the thing with these Movie Pass Minutes episodes is that we are we don't usually review movies that are in the theater currently. It's usually like some old standards, some classics, some cult classics, and stuff like that. So, there's going to be spoilers. Um, so, hopefully, you've already seen it or you don't care about spoilers. Thor Ragnarok was directed by oof, T- Teika Takai Taika Waititi. Y-T- <laughs> I feel so bad. This director, I have no idea how to pronounce his name. Teika. Teika. Wait. Waititi. 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 Take away tea. I, that's my. That's my sure, guess. and he, but he was amazing. He did a great job. Uh, written by Eric Pearson and Craig Kyle and some others that have. Oh listed yeah, here. it had a great feel to it. Like the whole thing from start to finish, polished. Great. Absolutely. Time. I'm gonna go out to say that this is probably my favorite Marvel movie altogether. Oh really? Sweet. Yes. So even we'll be sur- it even yeah, it even <laughs> <Nice>. surpasses <laughs> Iron Man, which I didn't think was ah! possible. <laughs> was it because of the Hulk? No, I mean, it was the fact that I I sat there having to pee for like a solid hour and a half oh, and, and I oh. couldn't leave. Like there were no moments where because every every scene was there was somebody that was so super damn captivating. So like Thor, you know, Chris Helmsworth did an amazing job this time around. He was oh. much more comedic. And so like he was on screen every time. And so he was fun to watch. And then like when he wasn't on screen, it was um, Kate Blanchett. Who's playing Hella? Yeah, his um, his murderous sister. Yes, and so you know she <laughs> was amazing. Born. Yeah, so she was amazing <laughs> to watch and too. So like, was great. and then we get like <laughs> you know, and of course Tom Hiddleston is Loki, always amazing, always a treat. Um, oh yeah, yeah he was he re- really. Um, took the character to uh, some new places right. which is great because he's played that character so many times exactly so many fresh different ways version <laughs> yeah thank you well done um, indeed. and tessa introducing tessa thompson to the marvel universe as valkyrie oh my god thank you like <laughs> yes she, <laughs> she was great i loved her whole like he's fine 
<laughs> she did some physical awesome. comedy. Yes, I, I, you know, I and was, a lot of stunts. Like, yeah, just wow. Just her fight scenes just, and everything. Uh, bam, I was in bam, love with bam. her from yes. uh, Dear Dear White People. Okay. So you know, I was looking forward to seeing her in this role when I saw her. When, you know, when they started showing the trailers and stuff, and so you know, I've been like all about Team Tessa, yes. and now I've got to start practicing my Valkyrie strut. And then, last <laughs> but certainly not least, the Pise de la Resistance, the ice cream, or the cherry on top of this ice cream, the chocolate covered sprinkled <laughs> cherry okay on top to be of all this of ice cream. He is grand. He can be the he's, ice cream. He's the ice the cream as well. He's the, the waffle sauce. cone. <laughs> <laughs> he's the waffle cone. <laughs> Jeff. On Mars. <laughs> GD Goldblum <laughs> as Grandmaster. Yes. Yes, the G uh, must stand for Grandmaster. Uh, <laughs> G- <laughs> sure. Goldblum. But you pronounce it. But uh, oh way. my God, just I mean, <laughs> masterful, right? Just fucking perfect. I, there, I have no words to describe how fantastical it was to see him in this role and every word he uttered. Like he did not disappoint. He was he was gold blooming all over the place. What did you think about his matching nails and what would and you call that? On his chin? The stripe on his chin, exactly <laughs> how I was like, what do you call that? And the stripe on his chin, Dan. <laughs> narrow little teal shiny. Um, I think it was just chin. like a perfect touch. I think to we're going to see that a oh, lot God. of that. I think next Halloween. I'm gonna tell you people right now, you cannot <laughs> rock that unless you're in a Marvel movie or unless you're Jeff Goldblum. Like, don't go out here trying to like oh, do this business <laughs> oh, in yeah. real life. You can't stop it's it. Not okay. You can't stop it. Your PSA is for okay. nobody. <laughs> but so you know, this no movie. I mean, there was everything. There was comedy, so much comedy. There was action. Like the fight scenes were amazing, and like the end fight scene was fucking phenomenal. I. I, like honestly, I, I like I couldn't find a good time to go to the bathroom, and usually I can do that in a movie. <laughs> yes, and I love that it wasn't all guns. Right. You know, it was like some old school swords and hammers and smashing, of course, because there's Hulk. Exactly, and and Hulk smash. And Bruce Banner. So you've got yeah, well, Mark Ruffalo right? Mark playing. Mark Ruffalo just rocked it inside. Playing out. Tony yeah, Stark. Right. <laughs> this was Mark the... Ruffalo playing Bruce Banner playing Tony Stark. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. And Hulk too, like uh, Mark Ruffalo. I'm assuming is Hulk when Hulk. Yeah, is that's up. what I wanted to find out. Like, uh, who is playing the Hulk? I think it's him in body. You know, in, in a green suit. Yeah, that says so. Um, um, and so the whole scene where like he and Thor become like prison or gilded prison or, roommates, uh, yeah, right? <laughs> soulmates, <roommates>. right? <laughs> and they're stuck with each other. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> and they're just like he's just bored in the background, just Hulk's bored in the background, throwing a bowling ball against the wall <laughs> and catching it, right? <laughs> and then like he drops it once. It's, Did you see that? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, like, I'm like almost, sorry, spoiler, but no, man, but yeah, that was like so it, it was like great. remnants of like a college roommate, like dorm roommate, <laughs> yes, or something yes, like that. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, if you, you can get, smell the sweat socks, if you get Stuck in with the room, like, the, the jock, <laughs> right. like Hulk is the jock. <laughs> right, exactly. There's some stale pizza going on. Um, they had there was like a, an interesting um, little thing in there. You know, there's a moment, like we said, spoilers, where they're playing. Like Thor goes back to back home, and he sees his dad like chilling and watching this play that's like immortalizing right. Loki. Loki. Yeah, right. yes. <laughs> <laughs> because yes. at this point we're all supposed to think or, or we all thought that Loki was dead and I don't remember from which movie that he died in. Like right. it was one of the Avengers movies maybe. Yes. Okay. So, but well, I thought the cute thing I think about maybe this, it was Thor too. Okay. But I thought the cute thing about this was that the was the actors that were playing Thor, Loki and their and Odin in the play so the actor playing thor was chris helmsworth's brother luke hemsworth or maybe it was from avengers i'm sorry you got me thinking (laughs) now and i didn't hear what you just said um because i think that did happen in avengers i think in in the mix of the battle we saw loki the audience saw loki get away but the avengers didn't i don't remember (laughs) <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> that is my thesis. I'm sure Comic Drake or some other um, geek will correct us. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, but are you hearing? Okay, so the actors that were playing and the uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're talking about the Helmsworth. 
Yeah, so Luke, Chris Hemsworth's brother, Luke Hemsworth, makes a cameo, and he's playing Thor. In, oh, in the play. Uh, yes, in the play. Oh, that's Hemsworth. great. And <laughs> That is great. And the actor that's playing Loki <laughs> is Matt Damon. Oh, I was wondering. And then Odin is played by Sam Neill. So it's just like these cute... Um, cameos that we have there and for some that and i see here that zachary levi was in there somewhere but i don't rec- i don't know where he was he might have been somebody in a beard maybe right. i don't know uh in any event i'm and, sorry to cut you off and there's also um a doctor strange appearance which yes. is perfect oh yes which i think that the, the that scene and then all the scenes with Goldblum are probably the ones where i laugh the hardest because the last time i think we as fans in the marvel universe saw Doctor Strange was in his own movie, mm-hmm. and now we're seeing him much more powerful and adept at his. Right, because he was just now in, in his movie as he's just getting like his powers and understanding what his role is, yeah. and now he's like taking it seriously. And he's Thor like, kind of calls him out, and he's like, "Whatever, wizard." Yeah, he's like, "No," he's like, "You know, seriously, I'm not a wizard. Don't I, bore me." Right, I'm, I'm like here to protect all the universes. Basically, I'm just keeping an eye on things. And you, you know, basically, I don't like what's going on with you and Loki right now. So what's right. what's happening with that? So right, he's like, right. he's checking in, and then you know, Thor asks for his help, and so he helps him for a hot second. No, no, no. Doctor Strange decided that he could help him <laughs> after. Is that what it was? Yeah, after Doctor Strange interrogates him about him and. His brother's intentions and what the right. heck are they doing on Earth? Because you know your brother's on a, on a short list that I keep, says Doctor. Yeah, Strange. he's Homeland Security. Right, right. <laughs> Which I'm kind of surprised. He's like, that he's oh, you guys want to be in Norway? I can help you. Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> he didn't. He let him go back with it. Like he took. Well, I guess you know Loki was trying it. But anyway, so yeah. So without giving you like too Loki much was away. falling for 30 minutes. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> that was hilarious delivery, too. It was also, it was also like, a real perfect introdu- or, um, yeah, introduction or entrance for Doctor Strange, too, because, you know, we see that crazy portal with yeah, the, the, right? that Loki falls through without reason at first, and then you're like, where did I see that before? And at first, for whatever, like, I don't know if this is just the way that it is in the Marvel universe or in the comic lore or in the canon or whatever. I don't know if that's actually Doctor Strange's address <laughs> or if that's just somebody's cheeky way of like making it be like Sherlock Holmes. No, I think that was it Benedict because Cumberbatch be- I think that's exactly it. Is... I think it was some fourth estate stuff or you yeah. know, behind the scenes okay. nod. If and... anybody can confirm or deny that for me, that'd be awesome. No, they oh. were calling you out, nerd. <laughs> they're like you know who's gonna appreciate this people who love the Sherlock Holmes franchise cause Disney probably owns that probably right Disney, and so Disney occasionally Disney puts a few hallmarks on this movie if I may mm-hmm. um, like this is Marvel Marvel's owned by Disney now which is news mm-hmm. to us that gave us more production money because of the, again I say the polish on this piece was straight out of the 80s right you called it too you're like I love this yeah. 1980s it's like an 80s arcade film yeah yeah, yeah right? I mean, that was a good call. And this the way they made the comics pop was also reminiscent of 80s animation. Like, right. it was just very, it was a good nod to the whole spectrum, too, because there was kids in it. More kids are in these movies now. Right. Disney's always putting kids in the movies, so kids in the audience want to see themselves in right. movies, right? Um, it's not just about the adult world of some of like um, um, who's my buddy uh, in the red suit with the swords Deadpool <laughs> Deadpool <laughs> right this one you can have kids in the movie yeah you have kids in the seats right because I think well, this, this was, was PG-13 right yeah so, Deadpool hard R right well there was an exodus too led by um, Idris Elba who could be Moses mm. <laughs> the way he was playing on that exodus was, right. was very amazing yeah uh, yes, I forgot to mention Idris Elba. He this, was great. He shows up in this. I thought he also. I thought his character died in like the first Thor movie, but right or I, was frozen or something. Yeah, like that. apparently I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might have missed some stuff because I don't know if we saw Thor two. We did. We did. I yeah. just don't remember. I'm yeah, sorry. they all start to mush together after a while. I mean, there's like eighty thousand of them. Like, I, and I saw like a. Ouch. I saw. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's just so many. This was like you not know, like the others. Thor this has one, multiple ones. This one. Iron Man it. has multiples. Yes. Then, we, then we get the Avengers together, and then there's somebody else that's got oh Captain Boring Ass America. He's got multiples, 
And then when you throw Guardians of the Galaxy in the universe, they're in that whole timeline as well, too. I'm sure I'm missing someone else, but right. yeah, so it's just like a lot to try to right. keep track of. This has all been like, what, within the past 10 years? <laughs> oh, probably longer than that, really, if we thought about it. Maybe. Um, well, I do think, again, um, that it's, I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think that, I don't think, uh, I think Disney has decided to expand its brand by just letting other brands be themselves. Yeah. And if they want some stuff, we'll give you some stuff. That's the feel I kind of had because they had so much fun making this movie, you could tell. Yeah. And they had so, you know, it was just like, they were just like, everyone here, make a great movie. Right. You know, what do you want to do? Don't worry about the cost. You know, we're going to tell the world that your franchise is fine <laughs> and put out Thor Ragnarok. Okay. <laughs> I think the nerds want to know that. You know, the geeks, I'm trying to be offensive, but I just, you know, at this point, we have our comics on in film. Yeah, so I really don't believe that require, they're in, in trouble. It requires a map, maybe. <laughs> I think they're all making plenty of money. Um, maybe we'll do a better job of tying them all together. Well, there, someone somewhere has done that. I have seen like the definitive list of how, if you want to watch them in chronological order, oh my goodness, how to watch them. I have oh seen this goodness. list, and I've seen that it takes like I think like twenty five hours or something like that. Oh <laughs> like, wow! Like somebody has <laughs> I, the list that I saw. It was like telling you like all of the like main um, uh, like. Uh, serial movies like the like The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, like all those stuff, as oh, well as all the Marvel movies, and it's and it like tells you how long it's going to take. Oh, interesting. Like if you want to do a binge watch, like if you want to do a marathon of of this, this is how long it's going to so, take like, you. Binge watch Marvel Universe, right? yeah, and then it would show you. It, like, t- it tells you like what order chronology. you should watch them. Yeah. yeah, binge watch Marvel Universe, and then how long it's going to take. Yeah, I like it. So yeah. Thank you. Um, and I'll go ahead. That bit of knowledge. I'll post that on the Facebook page for the Down to Watch pa- Facebook page. So, um, Bechtel test. Like, even though nice. there were two very kick ass women characters, actors, they were amazing. They were strong. They were bold. They fought. They held their own. We even had, Maybe. like, a solid female villain. But it does not pass the Bechdel test because they never spoke to each other. Right. They did fight each other, though. Yeah, but they never of, spoke to each things. other. They didn't. And was it or was it not about a man? They never spoke to each other. Well, the fighting, I was thinking. The fighting was about Ag... Whatever the city is. What is the... <laughs> oh, Asgard. Asgard. The planet. Yeah, I was going to call it Ac- planet. Ac- Acroba or whatever. It's not just a city. All right. Um, yeah, so, okay, so it wasn't, it's about a planet, I'll give you that. But yeah, it's strange, they did not, no, they did not talk to each other. And the Black Widow makes an appearance as a hologram, or right. I guess there's a video recording. Yeah. And, uh, wow. That's pretty much it. Huh. There you have it. Yep. You know, can I talk about... It doesn't even pass the Black Bechdel test. Which is basically the same, or even like the people, the minority, or the person of color. They don't speak to each other because, uh, right? Because um, uh, I wish I knew the ca- the uh, the character's name. All I know is Idris oh, Elba. Idris Elba's character. Yeah, he's an important person in Asgard. Yeah, he's the keeper of the uh, of the sword. I don't know. The, uh, <laughs> doorway. Yeah, the doorway. Hemdal. Hemdal. That's Hem- the character's Hemdal? name. I, yeah. Let me see. Hemdall, yeah. Hemdall. Okay, well, yeah. So Hemdall and and um, Valkyrie don't talk to each other, but they're named. Right, and they're in the same scene. They're in the same same scene together. Yeah, and they're not in it about a man. Actually, the thing Actually, about the thing every they have to talk about something other than a white person. That's the oh. black Bechdel test. Ooh. Well, then nope. They never <laughs> talk to each other. Though. Okay, interesting. So, what were you going to touch on? Oh, well, first of all, back to the Bechtel test. I have to say, though, Valkyrie, nothing about her life is is about a man. <laughs> like, she's for herself, oh, yeah, about absolutely. herself, and, and her crew that died in battle. Right. She was like, that's the whole thing. Like, the whole point that Valkyries were warrior women. Right. We're just, and they're, like, in the scene where, like... Thor is trying to be like, you know, yay, women. You know, right. <laughs> it's, it's about time. <laughs> right. Kind yeah. of thing, right. It was so, uh, so cheeky. <laughs> kind of awkward. Yeah. But they played it like it was inappropriate. Mm. You know? Like, no, dude. <laughs> Shutting this down. 
we broke your hammer. Right. I mean, that was that's uh, this from a feminist critique. You know, that's going to be like destroying the male phallus. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. Uh, act with single hand. Yeah. Without eating many sandwiches or subs or meatballs, I would imagine she was pretty thin. <laughs> I mean, they she could have made really her more great. athletic, you know, more muscular. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, the, I guess the only critique I would have is the only thing I didn't like about it was actually her, the way they, her fighting style, like the way, not even her fighting style, but the way that they computerized it or whatever. It was just like a weird. It, she just it's just, it just seemed weird it was like i don't know it wasn't magical yeah it was yeah i guess it was just that's i guess that was the point of it like yeah, i guess too, that was the point right yeah. is to emphasize the magical aspect yeah. of it maybe that'll come up in another maybe Marvel back to universe tessa the way she kicked off in loki's ass that was amazing right like seriously right <laughs> like that oh yeah great fight choreography yeah right. choreography choreography thank you uh, so all I wanted to touch on is the mov- movie pass bonuses, right? Like, okay. like I would have gone just to watch the trailers because there was oh winners in the trailers. Like they, um, in my opinion, Justice League. Uh, no, uh, Jumanji. Black, Black Panther. No, no. Oh, Jumanji. Jumanji for me was the big winner in the trailers, because the other ones just kind of delivered me what I was already expecting to see. Yeah. Jumanji was a surprise. Yeah, oddly enough, that was a surprise for me, too, because I've been hearing about it, and I'm sure everybody's been hearing about Jumanji, the reboot, and blah, 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 for, like, at least a year now, and, like, watching, and people have been picking apart, you know, like, uh, the girl, why she's wearing what she's wearing, and, like, the rest of these guys, and then, like, people are upset that Kevin Hart is, like, playing the role that he's playing, and I was upset by it. I was like, why is he on The Rock's back? Like, all I was seeing was, like, these stills of... The images, imagery, and I was like, well, I was offended by whatever role that he was playing. But now I fully understand what's going on, and it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't understand what's going on. Well, the fact that I understand, like, before the way they were showing Jumanji to me, the way I was seeing it was that it was these four adults in the Jumanji world oh, gotcha. for whatever reason. Gotcha. I didn't know anything about that. This, that, that it they was were kids, kids playing a video game, and these four adults were avatars, avatars that the for kids, those kids were. Yeah. Oh, oh. So okay. that changes everything gotcha. for me about what this movie is about. Gotcha. And it just makes it that much more. It makes it interesting. It makes it funny. And you know, it's like something right? newer. And yeah. then Jack Black is like a girl, like there's right, a, like a fourteen a year old. Girl. Yeah, so this who just, loves her phone. Yeah, you and know, just, attached to her phone. Yeah, it just that. looked like the same old bullshit before, <laughs> but now it's it's something different. And I'll, I I actually go see it in the theater now. Right. I mean, it's an interesting acting. Um, experiment. Right. It's an interesting reboot experiment. Yeah. And I have to say, it looks like they knocked this out of the park. Right. Yep. I'm so, excited yeah. about it. So that, and of course, Black Panther, which the trailer, yes. which I'm always excited to see, and I got my life again every time right? I watch I'm that. Sorry. I was like, I, I knew not to talk during it. <laughs> every time I watch that trailer, it's like a little bit of a religious experience for me. I want to cry. I want to <laughs> praise. I want to praise God. I want to do a church <laughs> clap. Do it. Do I want church club. I want to oh, no. hoot and holla. Oh, your chair. <laughs> I want to just bring it. But basically, what's going to happen is, and come February, that movie theater is going to be lit AF <laughs> when everybody goes to see oh, Black Panther. Oh yeah, Panther. right. And I can't wait. I am here for it, all of it. So we, uh, nice. so we covered the Bechtel test. Um, and are we down to watch it again? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm. So, I want to pre-order it. <laughs> I would watch it again right now if I could. They got us. And one through five stars. Oh, five. I give it five out of five possible gold blooms. (laughs) (laughs) Five after five gold blooms. Out of five possible gold blooms. The dogs agree. Yes, even though they didn't even see it. They're just excited about what's The word gold bloom. Exactly. So, Jeff Goldblum, whenever you come back to Pittsburgh, we are here for you it's gold we want to we want to hang out immensely so i think that we you know um our dogs are saying that we're done here i can't think of anything we've missed anything you want to cover or add before we go off dan um it was a good time i'm glad we did it thank you yeah absolutely all right let me just 
go ahead and just look at this real quick to make sure that we covered everything. We yeah yeah. And so I all right guys go out and see Thor Ragnarok. And for the record, Ragnarok, I think it's an event. Oh. It's the event, right? I think so. It's yeah. It was what, the it was the hell. It was the hell Asgard. that that dude was trying to yeah. Right, right. That, that demon guess. wanted to put upon Asgard. Right, I guess so. His destiny. Yeah. Was in, to to unleash this event called Ragnarok. Yeah. Look at that. Thank you. Okay, so you can follow us on Twitter at DTW Podcast, and you can also like us uh, on Facebook, Down to Watch Podcast. Please do that, as well as rate and review on iTunes and Libsyn. We are under, it's hard to find our podcast sometimes, but if you go to the Facebook and Twitter, we always post there. Um, you can find us on iTunes and Libsyn under Rugged Angel Productions. Rugged Angel is one word, and there's also like two or three other podcasts that are in that feed as well. So thank Thanks for listening, and until next time.